This video will cover the following objective from the reproductive system. Describe the location and structure of the ductus deferens, seminal vesicles, prostate gland, bulbourethral glands, penis, and scrotum. The external genitalia in men is the penis and scrotum, and the male gonads, the testes, are protected within the scrotum. The penis contains the urethra that functions for both the urinary and the reproductive system. The primary function of the penis in the reproductive system is to transport the sperm into the female reproductive tract during sexual intercourse. The sperm travels out through the urethra. The tip of the penis, the distal end, is known as the glands of the penis, and there is a fold of skin covering over and protecting the glands known as the prepuce or the foreskin. Although the prepuce or foreskin is commonly removed in the process of circumcision. Sperm are produced inside of the testes in the seminiferous tubules and then are transported into a long coiled tube that hugs the posterior and lateral and superior surfaces of the testes, known as the epididymis. And the epididymis functions to store the sperm as the sperm mature before they are released in the process of ejaculation. Sperm will then be transported through a system of ducts from the epididymis into the ductus deferens. Ductus deferens is also known as the vas deferens. And the ductus deferens travels through the spermatic cord up into the pelvic cavity as it's traveling superiorly towards the pelvic cavity. The ductus deferens is located inside of a bundle of connective tissue called the spermatic cord. The spermatic cord will connect to the inguinal canal where the ductus deferens will enter into the pelvic cavity and continue traveling until it reaches the ejaculatory duct of the prostate gland. Sperm is released from the ductus deferens into the ejaculatory duct during the process of ejaculation. The ejaculatory duct is found inside of the prostate gland. So there are a pair of ductus deferens that connect into the ejaculatory duct. There are also a pair of seminal vesicles that are located just on the posterior surface of the urinary bladder that have ducts connecting in to the ejaculatory duct. And so the ejaculatory duct forms from the union of the ductus deferens and the seminal vesicle. Then the ejaculatory duct will connect into the prostatic urethra. So the seminal vesicles produce the majority of the volume of semen that functions to nourish and help transport sperm during ejaculation. So this semen will be transported from the ejaculatory duct down through the prostatic urethra and into the membranous urethra. The prostate gland also produces some exocrine secretions that contribute to the volume of the semen, helping to nourish and protect the sperm. And then the bulbourethral glands are located just adjacent to the membranous urethra, surrounded by the external urethral sphincter. And the bulbourethral glands produce just a, a small volume of semen that functions to help neutralize acidity of urine inside of the urethra to help prepare the urethra for the majority of the semen to be transported through without being exposed to any acidic residual urine inside of the urethra. And then from the membranous urethra, the semen will travel down through the spongy urethra inside of the penis.
There are three major regions of the penis. The root of the penis is the deep region anchored to the ischial ramus. The body of the penis is the central region that contains three cylindrical chambers of vascular tissue, the erectile bodies that become engorged with blood producing the erection. The corpora cavernosa are a pair of erectile bodies located on the anterior and superior regions of the body of the penis, anterior and superior to the spongy urethra. The corpus spongiosum is an erectile body that surrounds the spongy urethra in the body of the penis. Then the glands of the penis is the enlarged distal end of the penis that is containing the expanded region of the corpus spongiosum filling the entire glands of the penis. And so the corpora cavernosa are located only within the body of the penis and the corpus spongiosum is found all through the penis and is expanded in to form the glands of the penis. During sexual arousal, blood flows into the erectile bodies as the cavernosal arteries dilate, increasing blood flow into the erectile bodies. The engorged erectile bodies push against the penile veins and venules, which slows the rate at which blood can drain out of the penis, helping to maintain a stiff erection which enables sexual intercourse.